forests of mist. Characteristics. Here we are at the San Sebastián La Castellana Reserve. This is a natural reserve located in the area of Carrizales in the municipality of El Retiro. It is important because it has a great amount of vegetation and because it's a low pre-montane wet forest. Sergio, what is the altitude of these kinds of forests? They're usually at 2,600 meters above sea level up until 3,000 meters. This reserve is located at around 2,600 to 2,800 or 2,900 meters above sea level. What's important about these forests is how they generate oxygen and capture CO2. Therefore, becoming a great lung for any city that is near any of these forests. Sergio, do you feel the humidity on your skin? Yes. Look. Around here, we can observe the fog as it ascends, with it bringing a lot of humidity. This humidity, the leaves on the trees, the lichens, and the moss, capture this humidity and retain it. This is why Andean forests are so important, since they are hydrological regulators. These woods are located near surrounding valleys. Therefore, the evapotranspiration, also the feel of the atmosphere, the winds, bring the mist up to these woods, which covers the mountains. Here we have a hydric outcrop and lichens. The mosses found here create something very beautiful, one of the wonders found in these woods, as I mentioned before, and water, which is vital. Pure water from a spring or hydric outcrop. These woods also have a great anthropic pressure due to human beings, since the current rate of urban development in these areas is turning into a threat for the forests of mist or páramo forests. Crops are also an issue, and agricultural expansion is a factor that is pressuring these types of woods. Thanks to the laws created by the same autonomous regional corporations who regulate and protect these types of forests, acting as a cushion and shield so that these woods, located on private property, are not affected by their owners. Also, administrative institutions are giving benefits in terms of properties that protect their natural resource. Here we have a great variety of ferns, among them is the sarro. The sarro fern is currently threatened on its way to extinction, and therefore it's unfortunately removed from the forest. There are unscrupulous people that damage the sarro plant by cutting it in order to extract its root and sell it in their greenhouses. There is a species called the elkhorn fern, and so they use the sarro root to plant this species. I invite you not to buy sarro because it's affecting this very important species. <laughs> 